direction. So it might just be like going uh, at a different rate that your heart's meant to go at. G'day legends, welcome back to Electrician Reacts to Electro Boom. And this is part four of this series. And I am so, so lucky to be able to do these videos and have such an amazing response from my subscribers. You guys leaving amazing comments for me, saying that I, I want more of these. Uh, give me suggestions for Electro Boom and also other Electrician React stuff, which I am going to do down the track. Um, but today I've been getting some uh, common theme throughout some of the people commenting, so I'm going to be doing that. But before I do, if you're not subscribed, it would be amazing if you could please subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me and gets me motivated to make more of these videos. But also, if you could hit that like button, because that really helps the algorithm bump up this video and shows it to more people so I can make more awesome React videos. So on to today is that I've been getting comments around uh, Electro Boom's Jacob's Ladder. Now, thank you so much guys for making these, uh, these suggestions, but I honestly don't know what a Jacob's Ladder is in reference to electrical terms. I mean, I know it's a biblical reference, and then I also know that it's a movie. So... Um, I have no idea what I'm in for. I really like to blind react to these things. So I'm just going to jump straight into uh, Electro Boom's um, Jacob's Ladder. Let me just... Jacob's Ladder. Let me just type it in and search. Okay, so making a Jacob's Ladder to celebrate 1 million subs. All right, I'm, I'm pumped. Let's do it. Hi. Shh. Trying to focus. Yeah! 1 million subscribers! <laughs> Well, this calls for two things. First, I like to make a celebration candle, which I'll make out of a Jacob's ladder. According to historians, Jacob used this special ladder to ascend to heavens. Well, naturally, of course, if you are too unfortunate to touch this ladder, you'll die because it's made of very high power, high voltage, low frequency across two metal rods. But unlike the legend, it doesn't guarantee you'll go to heaven unless you have led an honest life have been good to your neighbors. Fine, I don't know why they call it a Jacob's Ladder, and I don't care. We need high voltage, and I can create <laughs> it with my microwave oven transform. This is exactly what I've been saying. No idea what it is. Obviously, he doesn't know why they call it a Jacob's Ladder, but he's going to make one anyway. It creates over 2,000 volts. In a Jacob's Ladder, we have two wires like this connected to high voltage. The arc is created from the shortest gap and rises all the way up. The reason is that the arc is hot, so the hot air pushes the arc up. I connected my wires to the transformer so we can see the arc. Oh, I think the gap between the wires... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there's a big enough, there's too much of a gap, so he needs to reduce that air gap. Let's see how it goes. There's is a little bit too wide for the 2 kilovolt to jump across. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I actually touched one side of it. It must have gone, because it wouldn't be grounded across that bench, so it would have been across his fingertips. Um, which, which still potentially would have been pretty painful. <laughs> almost killed myself. But I was <laughs> saved with sheer luck. See, my right hand touched the wire first, which shocked me back to my senses. If both my hands touched the wires at the same time, now you would be watching a few hours of my corpse cooking to perfection. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that doesn't meet YouTube guidelines either. Obviously, the conductors are not big enough. <laughs> My puny wires melted. I need thicker wires like this so they won't melt. Let's <laughs> give it a try. Come on. Uh, the breaker popped. Damn it, I just want to celebrate. <laughs> Apparently, the one millimeter air gap is too short for the arc to rise. I need to widen the gap. But then that means that I have to have much higher voltage. So I guess I can keep the gap wide and then stretch an arc across it manually like this. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! It's a manual Jacob's letter. I think it still needs more pizzazz. What if I put a capacitor between the rods so that when the arcs reach them, the capacitor blows up for some firework effects? <laughs> Here's the capacitor. Ready? Oh, <laughs> the 
capacitor legs melted, but the capacitor didn't blow up? Worst celebration candle ever. <laughs> and what if I add some sparklers to it? It's getting there. That's oh, so I awesome. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, it's Let's gone. make it fancier. I designed a stand for my fancy Jacob's ladder and I'll print it. Put them in. Come on. Go. Oh! <laughs> Sheer luck. Thanks to my flimsy wire connections to the transformer that fell off quickly, I only sustained some third degree burns. <laughs> combination of a Jacob's Ladder with a heart. I don't recommend doing any of this, but it is so, so funny. <laughs> my stupid long sparklers made my structure top heavy, which of all people fell right on top of me. Let's just celebrate like normal people with oversized sparklers. Yay! Oh, did you see that? Is that a taser? Is Game that a taser? What? Taser? How to make a taser stun gun? <laughs> what? Dude, this Hi, is good. I'm going to show you how to design a taser. A taser is basically a device that generates very high voltages above 10,000 volts and is used to temporarily disable a person and sometimes it kills a person. Above 10,000 volts and I'm assuming the voltage is important because um, of the air gap inside the taser itself. Hmm, there is nothing. Is there actually a voltage? <laughs> <laughs> Well, my theory was right. Obviously, there is high voltage on the secondary, but the problem is that that high voltage. Just notice as well how he um, touched both the uh, the lead coming out of the top of the taser and then also the conductor or the wire uh, with a bolt on it because he's he's trying to short out that connection there. So he, he obviously knows what he's doing, and it will will go across his thumb or his finger. You know, it wouldn't have gone. Most importantly, with all of this stuff, you want to avoid connecting yourself up uh, between an active or an earth or a neutral, you know, making a full path between both of these hands, your hand or your foot, anything that's going to cross across your heart. Because not necessarily it's going to burn it, but it might actually put it into um, fibrillation. So it might just be like going uh, at a different rate that your heart's meant to go at. So that's what you don't want. But the main thing you do not want. And of course, you don't want to die by, you know, holding on and actually holding on to AC is potentially a lot, lot worse as well uh, because you can't let go. Um, it's literally your hands contract around it, particularly if you're holding onto a conductor and you, you can't let go of that. And it's, uh, it's, you're dead, unfortunately. If I press the button here, the relay here will switch back and forth and that will charge the primary of the transformer and the sparks will fly out of the secondary. You can read more about it in my website, electroboom.com. Using my 12 volt drill battery as the source. Let's try it out. Wow, this is wild. <laughs> you can see how it farts. <laughs> it's a strange pain. It's as if somebody is stabbing your finger, but the blade, it doesn't stop there. It keeps going through your veins until it reaches your heart. I love it. <laughs> I made it look more like a taser by gluing these nails to it. Let's look at it spark now. That's insane. This gap is quite wide. Let me measure it for you. <laughs> Well, you know, metal is generally conductive and electrons always find the easiest path to travel. So I would never touch any high voltage with a hundred mile long metal pole. All right, I'm going to wrap this one up, but I really do hope that if you like these Electrician React videos, that you subscribe and also hit that like button. Also, I know that you guys absolutely love it when I react to Electro Boom blowing himself up. But I also do really enjoy analyzing and breaking down what he's making uh, and what sort of circuits that he's putting together. So if you find that interesting, I would really like to know in the comments below. 
Also, your comments on what I should do next are really important to me. So if you could leave a comment on what you think I should do next, there have been some really good suggestions and I'm so pumped up. I might be doing something a little bit different than Electro Boom next time. So just let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, thanks very much, guys.